Hi there, Manny with collegeplanningabc.com. So giving you guys a quick tip here and to answer the biggest question I get all the time is, is a 529 plan really good for college? So the answer is yes and no. So yes, I think 529 plans are great for those people who have a lot of money who have a lot of assets and who will never qualify for any financial aid and merit aid. They, they don't care about any money at all and they just want to pay for college cash. So uh, if that is you and you have a high income, you have a lot of assets and you're going to like a top tier university like a Harvard, a Yale, a Stanford, and those kind of colleges don't give you any financial aid um, except for need-based financial aid, which your income has to be under 125000 And also, they don't give any merit aid for your 4.2, 2200 SAT score kid. They don't give you any money. So, if that is you, then I think a 529 is great for you. However, if you are a family that would like to get some financial aid, would like to get some merit aid, then I'm going to tell you, um, no, it is not good for you. All right, why? I think it's no good for those families who are incomes have less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars and has at least two kids. If you have two kids and you make two hundred fifty thousand dollars or under, I'll tell you, I don't think you should have one. In my opinion, um, we could debate that all day long. You may have gained in these accounts for the past years, and the market was, was doing well the past you know seven, eight years. Um, it's been up and down since then, but reality is that you're gonna be missing out on merit aid if your child does qualify for merit aid. Uh, some of your colleges that you're gonna be applying to are going to be looking at that 529 plan and assessing that 529 plan not only at the 6% we call EFC or 5.6% assessment, but when it comes to we call um, internal um, funding or we call enrollment management basis, uh, that's going to hurt you big time on that account. You could fight me all day long and we could fight on numbers all day long, but by the time you figure it out, you've probably lost thousands of dollars off your free money of college in terms of your scholarship and grants and I'd hate for you to do that. So trust me and when I'm telling you that some of these accounts are gonna hurt you more than help you. I know that's not great news for you, especially if, if you work with your financial planner. Not that there are bad people at all, but reality is they just don't understand college planning and strategic enrollment and how to maximize your financial aid, whether it be need-based aid or merit-based aid at university. I'm sure they're great financial planners and understand money and you've done well with their plans, but reality is they don't, they do not understand college and they don't get the rules of how this works on their end. And some of the things that they're doing are gonna hurt you more than help you. So in college planning, it's great to talk to somebody who really has a pulse, who knows what's happening in the college world, who could help you navigate through the financial aid maze and so forth. So if you're looking for somebody that, that can help you, um, tell you what to do with 529 plans, can help you with your college funding and maximize your free money for college, whether it be need-based, merit-based aid, anything like that at all, give us a call. Check out the website, www.collegeplanningabc.com and come to one of our free events. So I look forward to seeing you and speaking with you in the near future but make it a super fantastic day. I'll see you later.